Welcome to Confined Space Safety Training. Introduction to Confined Space Safety Confined spaces are areas with limited entry and exit points and are not designed for continuous human occupancy. These spaces present unique safety challenges due to potential hazards that can arise, making confined space safety critical to protect workers from accidents, injuries, or even fatalities. Understanding the definition, examples, hazards, root causes, and control measures for confined spaces is essential to promote safe work practices. Definition of confined space A confined space is characterized by three key elements. 1. Limited entry and exit. It has a small or restricted opening for human entry and exit. 2. Not designed for continuous occupancy. The space is not intended for continuous human occupation. 3. Potential hazards. The space may contain or produce hazardous conditions that can be harmful to workers. Examples of confined spaces. Common examples of confined spaces include storage tanks, silos, boilers, tunnels, ducts, pipelines, sievers, etc. Hazards in confined spaces Confined spaces can present various hazards, including lack of oxygen, oxygen-deficient atmospheres due to displacement or consumption, flammable or explosive atmospheres, accumulation of flammable gases, vapors, or combustible dust, toxic atmospheres, presence of toxic gases, vapors, fumes, or chemicals, Engulfment, risk of being engulfed by materials such as grain, sand, or water. Physical hazards, sharp edges, moving parts, or equipment within. The confined space, temperature extremes, extremely hot or cold temperatures inside the space, poor visibility, limited visibility leading to disorientation and potential hazards. Root causes of confined space incidents. Confined space incidents can occur due to various reasons, including lack of awareness, insufficient understanding of confined space hazards and safety procedures, inadequate training, workers not adequately trained in confined space entry and rescue protocols, improper ventilation, inadequate ventilation or testing for atmospheric hazards, insufficient equipment, inadequate or faulty personal protective equipment, failure to monitor, Lack of Continuous monitoring for atmospheric changes during entry, improper entry procedures, failure to follow established entry and exit procedures, inadequate communication, lack of clear communication among team members during confined space entry. Control measures for confined space safety To ensure confined space safety, consider the following control measures. Identify confined spaces. Identify all confined spaces in the workplace and label them accordingly. Assess hazards. Conduct a thorough hazard assessment before entering any confined space. Written entry program. Develop and implement a written confined space entry program. Training and education. Provide proper training to workers on confined space hazards and procedures. Atmospheric monitoring. Continuously monitor the atmosphere before and during entry for oxygen levels, flammability, and toxicity. Proper ventilation. Ensure proper ventilation of confined spaces to maintain safe atmospheric conditions. Isolation and lockout tagout. Isolate and lockout tagout equipment to prevent accidental activation during entry. Rescue plan. Establish a rescue plan and have trained personnel and appropriate equipment on standby during confined space entry. Personal protective equipment. PPE provides suitable PPE, such as harnesses, lifelines, and respiratory protection, as needed. Entry permits. Use confined space entry permits to document and authorize entries. Remember, confined space safety requires a proactive approach, thorough planning and adherence to safety protocols to protect workers from potential hazards within these challenging environments. Always consult relevant regulations and seek professional advice to ensure compliance and the safety of workers in confined spaces. Thank you for your time in the safety training. Your dedication to your own personal development and commitment to safety are appreciated. Let's work together to prioritize safety in our workplace.
Stay safe and apply what you have learned.